company racked up four and a half billion dollars in losses over the past year. Walmart on H Street in Northeast is closing its doors at the end of March. Have you ever wondered why some of the biggest retailers are currently facing multiple store closings? It's a pretty serious issue that's shaking up the retail world. From executive missteps to pandemic-related shutdowns, these retail giants are facing a ton of challenges. You see, modern-day retail is at a crossroads, facing struggles with physical storefronts, enormous debts, and inefficient operations. And the COVID-19 pandemic didn't help matters either. In fact, it accelerated the downfall of several retailers who were already grappling with declining sales and mounting debt. And the changing preferences of consumers make it far worse. So, in today's episode, we're going to look at 10 massive retailers who are currently reporting multiple store closings. Number 10. JC Penney JC Penney's store in Orlando is now in the process of closing down. Why? It all started back in 2020 when JC Penney filed for bankruptcy under Chapter 11. That's right, they had to shut down a whopping 200 stores due to the pandemic. This legendary retailer with a history spanning over a century has found itself in a sticky situation. As of March the 6th, 2023, JCPenney still had 669 stores standing tall across the United States. However, word on the street is that they're about to face even more closures, because whispers are going around about stores shutting in Indiana, New York, and Minnesota. And get this, there's even a rumor floating around about a possible closure in sunny California. From shifting consumer habits to the mighty blow of the pandemic, JCPenney has been fighting tooth and nail to keep its doors open, but it seems like the battle has taken its toll. Number 9. Macy's Macy's is facing a real challenge right now. It's like a roller coaster ride that started way back in 2016. You see, Macy's CEO Jeff Jeanette announced during a conference earlier this year. He revealed that Macy's has been shutting down unproductive stores left and right. And get this, they've closed a whopping 170 outlets since then. That's a whole lot of doors being shut. But wait, there's more. Macy's has been shifting its focus like a chameleon changing colors. Instead of sticking to those traditional mall locations, they're exploring new horizons. They're opening up new stores like the trendy Bloomies and the hip Market by Macy's. But these new stores are much smaller than the ones you're used to seeing in those massive malls. Anyway, one thing is for sure, Macy's is going through some serious changes. They're shrinking their footprint, closing down underperforming stores, and trying fresh concepts in different locations. Number 8. Amazon Go and Amazon Fresh Currently, there are around 38 Amazon Fresh stores spread across the US, serving up fresh groceries and convenience like nobody's business. Amazon recently dropped an announcement that they're planning to close some of these fresh stores. Yep, you heard me right. They're hitting the brakes on opening new branches too. It's like they're rethinking their whole strategy. Remember those little Amazon Go stores that promised a future without cashiers? Some of those fancy stores are also on the chopping block. With about 28 of these cutting-edge stores scattered across the country, it seems like Amazon is having a change of heart. They once greatly appreciated the idea of cashierless grocery shopping, but now it looks like they're stepping back from that vision. Number 7. The Real Real the Real Real had a total of 16 brick and mortar stores up until last September. But then, something unexpected happened. In February, they shocked everyone by announcing the closure of not one, not two, but four of their stores. San Francisco, Chicago, Atlanta, and Austin were the unlucky cities to bid farewell to the Real Real's physical presence. But that's not all. The company also revealed that they'd be saying goodbye to around 230 employees, which amounts to a whopping 7% of their workforce. I mean, that's a pretty serious move. Number 6. Banana Republic and Gap Ever since October 2020, Gap Inc., the parent company of Banana Republic, has been shutting down stores left and right. Around 120 Banana Republic stores have already bid us farewell, leaving us wondering what's going on. And that's not all. Approximately 175 Gap retail stores have also fallen victim to the closure frenzy. Say goodbye to that iconic Gap store you loved in Chicago, or that bustling Banana Republic spot in New York City. They're gone. Also, Gap Inc. dropped a bombshell back in October 2020, revealing its plan to shutter a whopping 350 stores across the US by the end of 2023. Fast forward to today, and we've witnessed the permanent closure of nearly 300 outlets, with 120 being Banana Republic and 175 being Gap. Number 5. Foot Locker 
Just last week, Foot Locker dropped the news that they're planning to shut down over 400 of their underperforming stores by 2026. Yep, you heard me right, 400. And here's the kicker, most of those stores are located smack dab in the heart of those bustling shopping malls we all love to hang out in. Now, you might be wondering why this news has caused such a stir. Well, when this announcement hit the streets, Foot Locker's stock took a massive nosedive. Their shares went down more than 5% in a single day, even though the overall stock market was on the up and up. It's a clear sign that something big is happening behind the scenes. It turns out they've got a plan up their sleeve. They're looking to shake things up by introducing new store concepts. You see, they're not throwing in the towel just yet. They believe by shutting down these struggling stores, they'll make way for something fresh and exciting that'll boost their annual revenue by a jaw-dropping £1 billion. Number 4. Big Lots This year, Big Lots is on a mission to shift its focus away from bustling urban centres and set its sights on towns and more rural areas. During an earnings call back in December, the CFO of Big Lots, Jonathan Ramsden, revealed that at least seven stores would be closing their doors before the year comes to a close. Three of those unlucky stores are located in the sunny state of California, while the remaining four bid farewell to their customers in the scenic state of Colorado. Reasons are not revealed yet, that's a question that's yet to be fully answered. The company remains tight-lipped about the specific reasons behind these closures. Number 3. Target Target, just like its giant retail counterpart Walmart, is facing multiple store closures in 2023. Target is shutting down not one, not two, but four of its stores inside three bustling metro areas. An insider spilled the beans and revealed that the affected areas include two spots near the ever-bustling Washington DC, one in the vibrant city of Philadelphia, and another in the retail-loving Minneapolis. The company claims that dwindling foot traffic is the main culprit behind these store closures. Yep, you heard it right. People just aren't flocking to these popular locations as much as they used to, leaving Target with no choice but to say goodbye to these spots. Also, in compensation for these closures, they've promised that most of the employees affected by these closures will be offered positions at other locations. Now, that's what I call respect. Number 2. Walmart the largest retail giant in the US is facing some serious trouble. In their annual quest to eliminate underperforming stores, Walmart has made a bold move, closing a whopping total of 8 locations. Back in February, Walmart announced the closure of 12 stores spread across 9 states and even the nation's capital, Washington DC. Poor financial performance was the main culprit behind this decision. The affected states are Arkansas, Hawaii, Florida, Illinois, Indiana, Minnesota, New Mexico, Oregon, and Wisconsin. It seems like no one is safe from this shakeup. Now, this move isn't just a one-time thing. It's a part of a trend we've been seeing lately. Walmart has been diligently carrying out this annual culling of its underperforming stores. And here's where it gets serious. Walmart CEO Doug McMillan revealed that record-breaking retail theft has been gnawing at the company's economic performance, potentially leading to these store closures. The retail theft rate has shot up like a rocket. McMillan himself raised the alarm, stating that theft is an issue. It is higher than what it has historically been. Prices will be higher or stores will be closed. Either one will be inevitable if the situation continues like this. Number 1. Tuesday Morning This is big. A total of 365 Tuesday morning stores are set to shut their doors. Yep, you heard that right. That's a huge chunk of their retail empire. But wait, it gets even more intriguing. Out of those, 30 stores in California alone are forced to bid farewell to their loyal customers. And it doesn't stop there. Florida is taking a hit too, with over 20 stores being swept away by this retail storm. It turns out that Tuesday morning has been fighting tooth and nail to stay afloat. They've been struggling to survive, and unfortunately, this isn't their first attempt. In fact, this wave of closures is their second in just three years. Whoa. Now, that's huge. I mean, it is in fact a huge portion of the total retail stores in America. Anyway, these 10 companies aren't having a great time, and the situation is going to get worse in the coming years. So, what do you say? Do drop what you think about these brands in the comment section below, and we'll meet again in the next episode. Until then, stay tuned.